I mean, I got a mixtape coming, like I got the, the, the single out right now, so I'll get on Feature yeah. Kitty Give Me Goes. I've been doing music for a minute. I was in a group called I 15 back in like 2006 to 2009. We were, we were signed to Interscope. It was on four records called Polo the Don, uh, Harry Houston, and Rich Boy with some of my label mates. Um, Hit Boy was actually there too. When uh, it changed, it all changed when um, I met Timbaland uh, at Justin Timberlake's concert. That's when it really changed for me. Um, he really uh, just inspired me to get back to uh, really, really trying to pursue it. Because at one point I wasn't, um, I was done with the music. I was, I was just done with the music business per se. You know, people that I met, and you know, we just vibe, and we, you know, we end up, you know, working real well together. Yeah, these are people that I have that relationships with, and that, that uh, like I got Pusha T on the song. I got I got all kind of people that just really mess with me on the strength of just some music. And we, you know, we just yeah. have a great vibe. Who you choosing? Um, Jay-Z. I gotta go with, uh, I gotta go with, I gotta go with Kendrick. Kendrick? Yeah, I gotta go with Kendrick. I don't know, I, I, I would work with Chris. Chris? Yeah. I like Trace songs too. These are hard questions. <laughs> I like, these are really difficult questions. I parents always had music playing on around the house, like, uh, you know, I grew up listening to Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, the Commodores, Jeffrey Osborne, Donny Hathaway, Prince, uh, a lot of music, country music, not even just R&B, country, you know, rap, everything, so I had a lot of, like, musical influences growing up, all because we always had music playing on in the house, um, those are actually, it started there, it started from my parents. I, I, whoever that is, I totally agree with him. I think R&B is confused. Yeah. Um, I think it's a bunch of singers uh, because hip hop is so, uh, you know, it's so it's so dominant right now. Um, and I think R&B singers are just trying to find their identity and and, and, and get the record record back. They want to be recognized again, and they're trying to um, yeah use these hip hop lyrics uh, with melodies. You know, that's what it is. And uh, yeah, they're just confused. You know, and I think true R&B isn't that. You know, true R&B is, is R&B. And that's that's what I'm all about. You know? I'm all about making, I want to make women feel special again. I don't want to be singing about, you know, screwing this chick and screwing that chick. And, you know, I'm on to the next because that's not what R&B is. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, what up? It's your boy J.R. Castro. And I am sitting down with Blue Magazine right now. Yo, make sure you follow me at JR Castro LB. Instagram JR Castro LB. Twitter JR Castro LB. We in it. Let's go.